Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Maybe there is another way that I can do this. Like if I go there for plumbing and I go with a bottle emptier right here, and I put that one in there and then I go with base over here and I go with tile right there and I drop that one in there, they'll be able to use that to dump stuff out. Now I'm going to need to come over here and I'm going to go to plumbing and we're going to go to liquid pipe and we're going to break there and there like that. Let them come along and just bust that pipe a minute. He's coming in through here and he's building the bottle emptier. I, if you just come and break that a minute. Liquid pipe. And I can put that one in there, and that one can come back out there. So we've got, we, we have to put the cooling loop back in. So I know that I've got to have the cooling loop, but I want to be able to keep the water in here, and I want the steam in here as well. So I'm going to go to you. Sweep only. I'm going to go liquid on there, and I'm going to take uh, polluted water only in there. Like that. So it will drop in some polluted water and then it should be able to boil it off and uh, help it up here. So I've got the steam coming up here. So this isn't an ideal situation that I've got, but at least it's not going to be overheating anything up the top. Uh, my other ideas down here, they haven't really worked. It's, it's losing the steam that I don't like, but the amount of water I've got in here, I think, is holding us back a bit. So with having this... It means that we should be getting some more water being dropped in there. So I'm, I'm going to want to make you know, actually have some water. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> have a little bit of water all the way down through here. Look, see, i got loads of it here. Yeah, go and, go and mop up a whole load of water here a minute. And i got another big long line of water that I can get there. It's going to go all the way back over to there. And uh, I can't pick that bit up. Um, but I can pick that up like that. Right, there, I got loads and loads and loads of water all the way up through here. So that should then put a bit maybe going into that bottle. Whether it's going to put it into there or not, I, I don't really know. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the old printer over here, Pipsqueak. Oh, I'm just going to reject him. We're just going to reject him. I'm... I'm still waiting on you. You're dormant. You've got six and a half cycles still to go. Everything in here is absolutely fantastic. We've got no steam for ages. I have got more coal being produced in here now. Although I'm now getting to the point where I've got six of seven critters in here. I've got an egg right there that is waiting. I've got another egg. That's on 42%. That one in there is incubating at present... That is 43%. That one down there is 19%. We've got plenty of eggs. We're going to go here to critter drop-off. And I'm going to go there. I'm going to stop dropping off hatchlings in here. And I'm going to start dropping off stone hatch and stone hatchling in there. Although at the moment, sage hatch. Leave the sage hatches in there. They're auto-wrangling sage hatches, and I don't want them auto-wrangling any sage hatches. Not yet. Un- Unwrangle them. Why are you moving them? What have you got? You got- Oh, we can move them up there anyway. They've got an egg up there. Well, I suppose that's alright. Let me go here. Go to Critter. Sa oh, sage hatch. It wasn't sage hatches at all. I wanted uh, hatch and hatchling, but uh, now I've just got the stone ones in here. You know, that's fine. We've just got stone ones in here. That is absolutely fine. You in here, you are stone hatch, stone hatchling. So I'm going to copy the settings there, and I'm going to drop them into that one. So they're going to empty that out, and they're going to make that one so that it's for stones. And then that hatch right there is going to need to be wrangled in a minute. What have you got up here? You've got 18 to 20. No, they can wrangle that and they can dump him up there. And then he won't be in the way. And my stone ones will slowly start to take over down here. 
which will make life a lot easier for everybody involved. Right. I would like this volcano to start erupting. I've Okay, I've, I've done everything else that I need to do. That is ready in there. I've got the other things ready. There's nothing else that I can do for a minute. I've got steam going on in here, and I've now got more water in here, which is great. That erupts in another 0.7 cycles. We are sucking through the water into here. Steam temperature is too low to be of any use to you. Uh, you're running out of power. Will the steam temperature increase beyond what the thermo aqua tuners are doing? Curious about that. Like, would it actually increase even more? I've like, got that. You've got another nine cycles to go. I'm not making use of this one either. I want another steam vent above that one. So it's, do I build a steam vent or do I go and uncover this and find out what this neutronium one is down here? I think steam vent first. Power is important. I need power. I've got to have power or we're just, nothing's going to work. So we want to go here and we want to have a base or ladder first. Right. Ladder is going to go up there like that. That's the outside edge there. And we we'll take insulated tiles now. And we're going to replace these with insulated tiles. Actually, we're not. We're going to put insulated tiles on the inside. Aren't we? Yes. And put insulated tiles in a line up through there like that. And those temp shift plates, hey, uh, you know what? They can stay there. They, they can stay doing exactly what they're doing right now. That's going to be fine. I will change that one and that one to insulated tiles. And I'm going to put one under there like that and one under there like that and then this is going to come down here and here like that those on the inside won't change um i do a line of these along here like this just to keep that nice and even all the way through and that one and that one we're gonna move this all the way up here like this to that height and I'll go on the inside and I'll remove that. So I've got one of those where I can get into here, should I need to. And then I'm going to need a ladder. There's going, you know what, we can press play now. And that's going to go up the outside there. And that's going to allow us to get through to that side. I've got to just wait until they've changed that one. Actually, I need them to build these bits in here. That's going to take a minute or two for them to come through and sort of finish doing all of that bit. Once I have finished doing all of that bit, then the rest of it is going to be fairly simple. Uh, ladders up the top here. We're going to want to remove some of them. So I'm going to need to go to that one's got to come out. That one, that one, and that one. Because it's going to be the top line all the way across. So then I can go to base. Uh, insulated tile. Oh. Uh, Go insulated tile from this. You know what? I'm not going to do insulated tile here yet. I am going to dig that bit out. And I'm going to dig those two out as well. Right. That's been changed in there. I'm picking up igneous rock from inside. And we're putting down some digs in here. And then all of these tiles all the way along. And we just got to wait for some of these other bits to happen as well. Let them carry on and do that building there. Let's go down here and have a look. How are we doing? You erupt in another 60 seconds. Uh, no, nothing else that's coming out here at the minute. i got a little bit of polluted water in there, but I don't have anywhere near enough. I need more water in this, don't I? That's, that's my sort of main issue, is that I need more water in it. I simply do not have enough water coming through here to really make this one work as effectively as we could. How have I got sand? Oh! 
I've got sand turning up because I've just boiled off the polluted water. That's what's happened there. Now the, the copper volcano has gone dormant. Next activity in 43 cycles. Well, that's the very last of the steam that is coming out of there. And already the steam is too low temperature. So I, I'm going to need to get the steam coming off of this one. And that one is starting in another eight cycles. So while we're working all of it... Right, that's actually good. I've, I've done through that bit, which means that I can go and delete this bit over here, which is probably a good idea because i got two duplicates up there that are now trapped. So we want to go and we want to remove that bit. And then we want to go to base in here. And we've got a ladder. And I want to put some ladder down there like that. So you can go through there and open that bit. And we put another ladder into there. And there's no more ladders that I can do. I don't think you can go and dig that. You need to, you need to escape. Kind of need you guys to escape now. I've got those. They're, they're building the insulated tiles over here. But I, 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 re I really need these guys to, to, to be able to escape from this. This, 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 is, this is not good. I need to... That's already on priority. I didn't actually realize that it was set on priority nine. And those guys are going to be left there overnight. That's not very helpful. Like, seriously not very helpful at all. Um, I know what I can do. No, uh, a dig. Dig two out there. And then come back over this way. And dig there and there and there dig them out and then they'll come down here and then they can dig back in underneath I think so that's what I'm hoping I'm hoping they'll, they'll go out through there I mean we got Stinky and Marie that they're busy sleeping on a ladder tonight this isn't good this is not the sort of thing that we want them to be doing I don't want my duplicates to be sort of stuck out like that. They can't dig this. That's why they haven't dug that one either. They've got to come over and get this ladder. If someone doesn't get this ladder, I've got people that desperately need the toilet over there. Someone has just made a mess. That's a double bit of ladder there. There's still not enough for them to get out. Unless we get someone come and put that ladder in. Oh, there we go. There we go. Frankie to the rescue. And we're out. Right, Stinky, go. Go, go, go. Get out of here. I'm going to need to watch them down here. Because once they mess inside their suits, they also leave a mess in... Where's that water come from? Right, mop. That one was completely empty, and that one there was almost completely empty. But why have I got water in here? That I don't know. I don't know why I've got water coming down in here. That shouldn't be happening. It shouldn't be able to happen. I very carefully got everything set all the way through so such a thing is not able to happen. And yet it has happened. Somehow, some way, that has happened. Um, it should not have done. Right. Well, never mind. Oh! I know what I need to do. I need to go here. I need to put insulated tile on there. And, yeah, I realize I've got all of my tile and stuff set to priority 9. But that's not really a bad thing. Look, see, he's going to come over here. He's going to scramble up that ladder there. He's going to come across. going to deliver. Oh, no, he's picking up phosphorite. He's going to deliver right in there. And he's going to build that one. So this is a sealed unit in here. Analysis complete in there, and then whatever we have going on being built in there, and then this one is that's done. There's, there's not a lot else we can do in here, but we do have the bottle emptier, so it's delivering polluted water in there. Go and dig that sand up. And then there's a bit of copper in there, which we can't really do a lot with at the moment, but we'll end up doing something with it later. Uh... Lots of polluted water coming through here. Like, why that's... I got polluted water that I'm picking up. Quite sure. Oh, I know what I need to do now. We need to go and dig that out. 
and there, and that bit over that side, and then these, these can all be reached, they should all be dug out as well. I want to wait for that, well I suppose I can reach that up from underneath, can't I? That, that's the only bit there that I can't reach, I, I need to do that bit soon. Um, base, insulated tile. So put insulated tile to the top of that ladder over there. Go no further than that for a minute. And then go one higher over here on the digging, which will take us up to there. I can't go any higher. Well, I can if I want to. I can go up a little bit more. Uh, I can go up higher and get the sleep wheat as well. You know what? We can do that. Use that ladder there. I'll go and put more ladder up this way. We can jump across. We can get the sleep wheat grains. There's a few of them in here that we can go and pick up. And I can also go up there and get that sleep wheat. And there's a bit more in there that we'll be able to pick up. If I dig those off like that. There. More sleep wheat that can be gone and picked up. Doing deliveries in here. I've got digging to do down there. i got some digging to do over on that side. So that's going to keep the steam in here. It's polluted oxygen that we've got in there. And then all of that steam being kept in there, we can then put our steam machine over the top of all of this. i just got to wait until I've come up through there and done all this dig. I've got all of those there that are being built over the top. We'll, we'll let that sort of carry on and, and do what it's got to do. And you we can ignore. And all of this we can ignore apart from this one. Now that doesn't actually need anything. And you've got three cycles to go. Very exciting times. Very exciting times. Right. Have I got... I've got coal up there that I can go for. And if I've got a consumable ore in here, I've got 68 kilos of coal. I have got no coal at all, not really. I don't want to drop down any lower yet. I know that we do need to drop down lower to be able to go and get more materials, but it's not something on my current to-do list. It's something that will be on a to-do list later on, but not yet. What I do want to do is I want to run that ladder up there like that. I'm going to go up that high there so that I've got a whole load of that coal. No coal over on that one. I have got another neutronium thing over there. I run this ladder all the way up there like that, and this next ladder over here. If you could stop doing those at priority 9, that would be a very good idea, I think. So let's put those up to there, and then go back into priority in here and go priority 5. Like that. And like that. Right. Leave those on priority five. That would be a good idea. I've also run out of oxygen on this lot. Because of our distinct lack of power that we've got right throughout our entire base. We've got some serious problems in here. Now, you... Chlorine, 390 grams at six, eruption period, 232 every 681. It doesn't tell me an active period. It doesn't tell me a temperature either. Yeah. Uh, I don't really want to use that either. I'm not really sure what you can use chlorine for other than a bit of cleaning. And I don't have any cleaning that I want done right now. How are you able to get past there? Like, how are you getting up round through all of this bit? And going through. I didn't even think that you could go through a piece like that. I didn't think that was a possibility. Next. We'll move three ladders there. Four Let's go for a fourth ladder and remove those ladders over there like that. Uh, once they've been taken out, I'm still waiting on that one. All of the rest has been removed now. Maybe we just need to drop a piece of ladder in there. So that they can come on round and go and do it. So there'll be a few to go up there. But see, yeah, I'm running out of oxygen because I just don't have any power. This is a major, major problem. What have we got over here? You are, you're still erupting. You've got next dormancy, another 64 cycles. You have a very long active period, which is really, really good. Uh, you, that hatch right there, attack that one so that we've got a little bit of grub. I've got 
that. Uh, another printable in here, which is oxalite. I'll just print that. That can sit there and just get expended and uh, used up. Yeah, they get up through there. I'm not really sure how they manage to do that, but they do. So I'm, I'm not really going to argue with it. And then you're picking up more sleep. We've got a lot of sleep wheat grains in here. And then there's more of them over here. 54 sleep wheat. Oh, I see we've got stacks of them on top of the plants where we've had them. I mean, you know what I haven't looked at in absolute ages is this down here. Insufficient resources, dirt. This is all about dirt down here. I have no dirt at all. I've got the right temperature. Get sandstones. I've just got no dirt. All right, none of that can work. I've got no dirt in there at all. Dirt is a major, major problem. The water cleaning system, that's all working fine. Um, but my biggest issue right now is this shortage of power. I've got no steam coming off of that one. I've got no steam coming off of my other vent. I've got some things being built over here, but we're taking our sweet time to actually build them all. Power down here. Let's try for another one. Now, the problem with the steam turbine is that it needs... It doesn't say. It doesn't actually tell you what it needs. Um, insulator. I can build this out of plastic. Buildings made of this material have antiseptic properties. Insulator, slow heating. Let's try building this out of plastic. I haven't done that yet. Right, you are going to go right there like that. And then we're going to come over this side and we're going to go with insulated tiles. Uh, we're going to put three more into there. I want that built so that I can remove that one little piece in there. I don't want to remove anything else. I just want to take that one out so then the steam stops escaping and it will just stay in this pond right here. And we'll go no further than that. That would be absolutely brilliant. And then I'm also, once I've built that, oh wait, no, there was another one. We wanted to go over here. I've only got five cycles left. So I'm going to very quickly turn this into another one. We'll go insulated tile. I can't put the insulated tile around there because I've got this wire going all the way around here. Uh, I'm going to have to rebuild that one and we will do that with... A different type of wire. Right, so job number one. Power. Heavy watt wire. We're going to bring that one out and that is going to go here. It's going to go above this one. I'm doing this with copper. It's 100 per length. So I don't know if I got enough copper to do this. I might have. I might have enough copper. I'm going to now bring it in behind the ladder like that. And then I'm going to go up like that. That's another 2,000. I've got 900 left. That's fine. That can go up to there. There. That's most of me copper gone in. They went and put... Yeah, all of that water in there. They went and stuck ice in there. That's why it suddenly all melted and then dropped down. Because that's what keeps happening. The ice keeps melting. Right, that can go into that bit, and then we've got up in around here, so water is dropping down in here, it's turning into steam, it's going up, and it's emptying out this pond. I need more water going in here, look at this, look, look at how much we've lost in here now. So it's coming up out of this bit, and it's not going anywhere else. I need them to come back through. And I've, I've got all of this. this. This is building as well. So I've got to wait for them to go through and build all of that lot before I can start dismantling some of these other. Uh, the water pipe coming through here. I'm going to redirect that one as well. We're going to have to do some a little bit of redirection. I'm going to go here and I'm going to dig three deep there. I'm going to remove that bit. I'm going to remove that one right there. And then I've got a wall along here that, that there's a bit there of, that they can travel along anyway. So they'll be able to go make use of that. Uh, 
I can tell them to remove those, and then when we reach them a little bit later, then, then we can deal with it, can't we? But it's, it's those right there. I want, I want that done. So let me go to the priority bid over here and just do that there as a nine like that. So that they go through and they do them, and that would be just wonderful of you. I'm really going to appreciate your input here, that that is going to be absolutely fantastic. Plus, I've got no water down here. And again, there we go with the, the, the bell for the end of the day. It's every single time, as soon as I'm like getting close to doing something here, the bell goes for the end of the day, and then that's the end of it. I'm going to need to put some... I think I just need to have some of this water here. Siphon it off and just fill this pond right up to that level up there. And then once I've siphoned all of that water off. Then I can just allow things to sort of go back to how they were, maybe. That might be the best way. In fact, that might be the only way at the rate we're going. Um, go on. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, that, that may very well be the only way. You are... Ooh. Right. You erupt for 87 seconds every 10,000 seconds. So you don't do very much erupting. 230 kilos at 1,700 degrees. You're going to be erupting in any second now. Like you're 0 0.3 of a cycle. You, you're almost ready to roll. I've got a few things over. That's happened now up there. That's good. So that means I can get rid of that one. That one can go, and then I'll be able to quickly change that. Let's go back over here and check this one. How are you doing? Uh, 0 0.2 so, um, cycles. Let me keep an eye on that. And also want to keep an eye on this one up here. Right, you've got to remove that there. Then I can go back into there, and I can do that. Seal that in, and then it's up here. Skill required operation. Contents, none. It's because I said plastic on that one, I think. I think it's purely because I said do it out of plastic. So I'm going to do that one out of iron. We'll, we'll just go with a bog standard iron build on there. And I've also got all of these down through here, which are copper. They are now actually starting to build some of them. And they're doing some digging out this side. This is all good stuff. That's all good stuff, but this it's, it's going to be doing something over here now. Where's, where's my volcano? There it is. Yes! Eruption period. What's it doing? Rising pressure erupts in 97 seconds. We're about to go. It is about to blow. We're about to have our volcano erupt for the first time. We've got a copper volcano, but that's different to this one. So what is going to happen with the water around this because this one will erupt uh, at 1700 degrees so it's, it's going to dissipate quite quickly the first few times I think through the water there oh really over pressure seriously Right, we've got too much in here. I've got to go into there, and i got to take that one out. Over pressure. So that first cycle right there is over pressure. It can't do anything at all. Nothing whatsoever can happen at the moment. I've got three of them idle. Where's, there's my dude down there. He's not going to get here before the over pressure... Um... Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit, just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.